Todd Jacuna, NJ.com, here with the Jared Garantano, the Rutgers legacy, here on campus today with his father, Jim, uh, for Rutgers' unofficial visitors weekend. How'd it go today, Jared? It was a great, great experience for me and my family, me and my dad, really. Got the chance to hang out with some of the guys from North Jersey, meet some new guys. Got the, uh, got the chance to hang out with the players and pop uh, this year at Upshur. So uh, it was a great experience. Got the chance to talk to uh, Coach Flood again. So all oh. around good experience. Oh, so Nasir did make it up today. Yes, sir. Okay. He, he was, uh, he, we ate lunch together and we just able to goof off and talk. Nice, nice. So where are you at right now with everything, Jarrett? I'm um, really slowed things down a little bit in the sense, not really rushing as much, but I, I have a couple of trips coming up. I'm still, of course, I'm going to get down to Rutgers as much as possible, just knowing that it's only 30 minutes away from home. Going to get down to Tennessee because I have the, uh, the Rivals camp coming up soon, so we might as well just take that Tennessee trip again and Ohio State soon after. So those are just three trips off the top of my mind. I think sooner or later we're going to get down to Florida. Coach Nuss and Coach McElwain, they're two great coaches. So those are just a couple of trips that I think. And hopefully soon. I mean, I remember me talking about I was going to make a decision back in January or so, but there was a lot of coaching changes and a lot of stuff. So just going to not put a date on it or anything, but hopefully soon, April, May, something like that. Okay, good, good, good. How are you feeling inside your gut right now? Obviously, you've experienced this place probably more than any place else. I mean, where does Rutgers kind of stand for you right now, JG? Well, like I always said, I always said Rutgers was my second home. It was always a place that I loved. Going in there, right in this Hale Center, looking at pictures of my dad, it was obviously the greatest thing growing up. It's still the greatest thing I ever known. That I have a father figure just there for me that was a great player. And coming here just solidifies that and just makes me just realize how much the people love them and really love me around here. So Rutgers is always a place that I'm going to love and appreciate. And you're obviously a guy always, you know, centered, you know, in between a, a bunch of top recruits. Did you get to sit down with any of the other guys and sort of feel out, you know, um, where they're at right now with Rutgers and if, if you guys could possibly play here together um, uh, when, when the time comes? Absolutely. I mean, I was with all day out today. I was with Gene, Coleman, um, Haas, uh, with Donald Stewart, uh, Pop, like I said, and then I was with uh, Mo Jabby, who's already committed, and it was just really a great experience. It's always, every time we're together, we're always goofing off, talking about who's faster. They all know I'm faster than them, by the way. <laughs> but it was a great experience, and I mean, we always talk about a lot of what ifs, and that's really what Rutgers is at this point a what if, and, and we all know is if, if this what if came true, that there's the sky's the limit for us. And and overall, what was the Rutgers staff's message uh, to you today, Jared? Uh, Rutgers, uh, n nothing really. I mean, we went over. I was here. I've been here a million times. We went over a lot of academic stuff, and I I know all this stuff. It was more so just being here with the guys and seeing what they may think or what they may see in the future. So it was really same thing with the Rutgers staff in the sense of just being able to sit down and talk to them and have a great experience as as usual. Well, Jared, I appreciate your time. This is Todrick Hunt, NJ.com, signing off.